Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Happy New Year. So this is the first unbagging, unboxing of the new year and my first two completions of the new year as well. Yay! Getting back into uh, routine again. Getting diamond painting again. Yay! Okay, uh, these have been sent to me by the lovely people at diamondartgift.com. Uh, these two items were sent to me, uh, I think my December unboxing from them. So if you want to check out the playlist to see the full unboxing on these but i thought you'd like to see the completions as well so we'll look at those first and then we'll see what new things we've got there's lots of exciting stuff in there so just pop you out the way for a second uh the first one is this and i absolutely love it and i love everything but look how sparkly that is oh the camera is not picking it up as, as well as i would like yeah when i look at this under my magnifying uh, light that i have that i do my diamond painting under the sparklers and the twinklers and the a b's and everything just really really do sparkle it does need sealing and um, i am intending to have a little tray or a box or something now to put all my sealing things in so that they're going to be out on display waving at me saying hi i need sealing uh so that i do them rather than leaving them to one great big lump and then it's like uh well it took me i would think a day to do all the sealing on all the christmas things that i did because i didn't do it as i went along so i am intending to do things as i go along <sighs> famous last words anyway so yeah this is lovely great as a key ring or a bag charm or even just as a little decoration for something you know really really like i think i said when i did the unboxing on it that'd be very nice if you've got like a sports bag if somebody does play badminton it'd be quite nice as like a little charm on the sports bag so yay really pleased with how that came out quite a lot of crystals left over including the uh, little uh marquees there look with the ab coating and i've got some twinklers as well so i will be putting those away at some point uh, the price of this was only one pound fifty so really good price for a double-sided keyring and actually it did take well, quite a bit of doing i think 30 40 minutes it took because it's with it being double-sided there's a lot more gems on it than you expect so yeah nice little in-between kit to do or a, i want to do some diamond painting but i'm not sure what to do sort of kit so yeah enjoyed doing that one and then look at Snow White. Oh, she is gorgeous. As I've said before, she is my favourite Disney princess. These have just moved slightly as I've carried it upstairs. Uh, yeah, but very, very sparkly. Look how red that apple is there with that big gem in the middle. And then her little puffy sleeves there and her little bow in her hair. And I love the fact that it's like um, matte black all the way uh, in the middle and then you've just got the sparkle on the edges and then all that sparkle in the middle there just to make it that little bit different a silhouette rather than a full crystal thing and uh, yeah she will definitely be staying out on my desk I do uh, love Snow White so she's a definite one to stay out and then it will again need to be sealed and then it will just go in its little stand now I am going to use a permanent black marker pen uh, before I seal it just to colour that little bit in there look you can just see it's just as it goes I mean it will slot further down but I don't want to put it in and then uh, struggle to get it out yeah that bit hasn't got any sticky on it so it will colour okay and I think I am going to do all the edges in uh, black permanent marker as well because uh, yeah the, the edges do sort of bother me just a personal preference uh, not something you have to do but something that I will do uh, yeah as the drills are settling they are moving slightly um but yeah i haven't got any of the spare blue gems and i did only get one of the red uh large rounds but i have got a couple of the uh red uh, marquees left and then yeah there are spares of all the others as well so she's come out really really well very very nice nice little ornament nice little present for somebody if you're wanting to get somebody into diamond painting um very nice as sort of a beginner kit as well because the specials are quite large and then these little teardrops here that make up like the leaves and everything they're still a reasonable size to pick up um with say one of your pick up pens um or a a pretty placer or something like that so yeah really nice but i enjoyed that one so again i've got 
kitting down to do i will be doing a kitting down video oh goodness i've got lots of gems to put away anyway let's have a look at the new ones yay i can't stop looking at that one now i've got her done i just think she's so pretty i love snow white right i think it's probably because snow white has all the animals doing the housework for her and that would be just wonderful you know if little birds and squirrels and things came and did all the housework for you wonderful <laughs> okay so huge thank you diamond art gift for sending me these uh oh we've got a little roll there we've got a box with a project in it and we have a painting yay so I'll just move that bag out of the way so what shall we look at first oh, i'll show you these first I just thought these were really really cute let me grab my oh no i think it's got a little thing on it yeah it has i believe that there's three thousand pieces yet yeah, says three thousand pieces on here and if you can see look the little stickers on a roll but the little love hearts and i just thought oh they're really really cute um i do like to use the stickers on my little grip seal bags that i put my spare gems and everything in as i'm uh, reorganizing and kitting down i thought that these would just be so sweet to use i just love the fact that rather than being uh, rectangles or being um little rounds or whatever the little love hearts I thought, oh i love diamond painting so yeah let's have a heart shaped sticker to go on my diamonds that will hopefully go in my little sticker stand so i can keep it out and just keep rolling them off so yeah and the price of that for three thousand was two pound 36 they do do the other shapes as well but you know me i'm a sucker for anything soppy and i do like a heart <laughs> Okay, so that's my uh, very, very useful uh, little hearts there, little stickers. So it's always worth checking out all the tool sections and all the bits and pieces, um, you know, when you're having a look through your order and doing your order, because yeah, you never know what you're going to come across. And at the moment, there is, if you put four in your basket, you don't get an item free. So, you know, if you buy three things, this could be a free item. You never know. So, yeah, excellent. Always worth looking and uh, having a check out. And there is 70% off on shipping as well at the moment at diamondartgift.com. So, yeah, we like getting net free gifts and uh, cheap shipping. Yay! Okay, let's have a look. Rather than looking in the box this time, I'm going to look at the canvas first. Just shake things up a bit. It's the new year. <laughs> okay right where's the entrance to this bag there it is okay as you can probably tell it's a special we are on smashing the specials at the moment so if you go and check out mindy's diamond moment or mystery of diamonds brandy then uh, yep they are running smashing the specials and i believe this is number seven so any of the ones that i've got here will be for smashing the specials look at that little gonk that little gnome is that not just wonderful so let's give him a bit of a flatten he's a 30 by 30 uh, his price was three pounds 94 or four dollars 99 cents so i'll try and do it in both now i'll try and remember <laughs> <laughs> oh dear give me a nudge if i forget but yeah i am writing down both prices now so i can give you a little bit of a, a choice depending on where you live and what tech currency you use so it is 12 different gems and colors but is that not just wonderful uh you know if you're wanting to give somebody rather than giving them a card i know cards seem to be um i mean i love cards i've always liked cards a lot of the time better than presents because i just think somebody's gone to the trouble of picking out a card and thinking about you and if it's got a lovely verse in it reading verses and things and yeah i've always thought that cards mean a lot um but uh, you could always give this to somebody put it in a little frame um or, or say make it into a card if you wish and uh, yeah give it as a little birthday gift or any sort of celebration but yeah i think he's my birthday look how many presents he's got and all his balloons and he actually looks really really happy we don't very often get an expression um on the little faces so this one he's actually smiling look he's going yay it's my birthday he might even be singing you never know 
Oh, look at that. I've just noticed that. Look. <laughs> He's got birthday candles in his hat. <laughs> That's fabulous. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. There was a few different ones of these as well. Some of them did actually say happy birthday on them. But I decided to get more of a generic one. And I think with the colours, we've got pinks and blues and greens and everything. This could be either boy or girl. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I just thought it, it's great and uh, yeah, it won't be safe till November. I will be getting this one done because it's fabulous. But yeah, his hat really does look like a cake look. It looks like it's all been iced in different colours and flowers and everything. Look, and we've got all the icing dripping down here and then he's got candles on his hat. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't recommend putting live candles on a hat. <laughs> Not so close to your balloons either. Oh dear goodness me, but look he's got proper little shoes on with laces and he's actually got little trousers and a little uh, top on there as well. Oh that's brilliant, somebody's just made him into a cake haven't they? It's uh, just one of those things that the more I look at it the more I see and it just really really makes me smile. And that's what crafting's all about, it should be fun. So we have a pen bow tan wax, a standard little toolkit there. And oh, look, hot pink to start the new year. Yes. So let's have a look and see what gems and colours we've got. Okay, so there's no um, key code for the gems on this one. And there's nothing on the bags either. I am checking now um, to see, you know, if I can kit them down with my other things rather than just doing them as like a generic kitting down um, without any names on as such. But yeah, we've got our kit uh, number there and kit number up there as well. So we know we've got the right drills for the right one. And the hot pink's waving at me saying, Happy New Year, Liz, we're here. <laughs> so let's have a look at these 12 different gems and colours. Wow, look how sparkly that one is. That's great to get us with, off to the new year with a good sparkly clear crystal. A nice deep red there. A little bit of a lemony colour there and hot pink. Yay! We like our hot pink. Uh, we've got a lovely amber orangey colour and a mid blue colour and a very nice grassy green. The grass will start growing again. We're very warm here in the UK at the moment. And then onto our special shape. So we've got a large round uh, without any facets on. So it's a semi sphere in your red. We've got a lovely gold there in a marquee. So that's sort of a medium sized one. Then we've got a pale green and that has actually got an iridescent coating on. Sorry, the light's awful in here today. Don't look at my nails, they're appalling. <gasps> Hot pink teardrops, look at those. Oh, I don't think I've had those before. Wow. Oh, this is a definite Liz painting. And then we have a marquee in silver with an iridescent coating on. So you just get that extra shine, that extra sparkle there. Excellent. Loving that. And uh, yeah, £3.94. So under £4 for a diamond painting. I think it's brilliant. It's uh, such a wonderful hobby and there is so much new coming out. I was uh, looking on the website before I came on because I always like to look to see what special offers and things are on to let you know. And uh, yeah, they've got a massive amount of new coasters coming. So I'm going to have to be looking at the coasters again. Oh, I can't help it. Right, so that's our little gonk, our little gnome. Oh, he's so happy. Look at that. Yeah, la 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 la. <laughs> so what is in the box? I think there might be a little bit of a theme for this. Okay, so da, 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 look, look, love. Oh, you gotta love it. Absolutely gotta love it. Uh, oh, we're still a panting box, not a painting box, but never mind. We leave the panting to Millie, our little Scottish terrier. <laughs> 
and yeah this is one of the uh, new gonk or gnome items that have come out and they're all these little uh, ornament ones so they do stand up like the little snow white so the theme is we've got uh, a gonk and a got and two gonks and then we've got a love heart and love hearts on our stickers ah you'd think i'd planned it <laughs> It's one of the lovely wooden ones again. Look at that. Is that just not gorgeous? Is that me and hubby, do you think? Yeah, no. It, it, it's a long time since he brought me flowers. To be fair, the last time he brought me flowers was when he was at work. And if he was working late nights and they used to reduce the flowers on a night because they needed selling, then I used to get all the reduced flowers. <laughs> Mind you, I don't mind. I love flowers. I absolutely love real flowers. Um, so, yeah, it was always really welcome, but it did used to make me laugh that I always used to get the reduced ones. <laughs> and then we've got love. These look a little bit like donut cookie shapes, don't they? That definitely looks like a donut, doesn't it? Maybe I'm just hungry. We've got a little love heart there, and I've got a huge love heart there. That reminds me, do you remember in like the 80s when uh, you went out with your first boyfriends and things and you used to get those ginormous, they were like an A1 size greetings card and uh, it depend how much your boyfriend loved you by how big the card was that he bought you. <laughs> oh dear, those were the days. I don't even know if you can still buy those now. They used to come in like a bit of a cardboard box and then there was those that were like the padded silk cards as well. But yeah, that just reminds me of one of those huge cards. I think I've got a photograph somewhere of one that uh, one of my boyfriends bought me and I'm sort of like sat down and it just about covers the whole of me because it's so big. Oh, but I was so happy with it. It was wonderful. <laughs> And then we've got a little box, look, a little present here. And it's got little love hearts all over it as well. So really sweet. And they've got little love hearts on the hats. He's got them uh, around the brim of his hat there. And she's got them sewn in, look, with a little patch love heart there as well. Oh, it's really sweet. I love this. And the price of this one was uh, £5.53 and pence, or $6.99. I mean, obviously, it will vary on the uh, British pounds because uh, it depends on the exchange rate. But, uh, yeah, it's round about that price just to give you an idea. But oh, they're fab. And they're a really nice, substantial uh, wood as well. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, dropping and breaking this one in a hurry. Well, I'll never say never because you know how clumsy I am. But, yeah, we think we're fairly safe with that one. We've got a pen, boat and wax. Our standard little toolkit. We've got our little stand as well, which is the same as the one for the uh, Snow White. There seem to be all these, like, generic little stands. They're... What did we say? 10 centimetres? No, not 10. 6 centimetres by... F oh, I don't know. Let me measure it. Where's my tape measure? Come here, Scotty. I will remember this one day. Uh, 12 centimetres. Yeah, 12 centimetres, 4 and 3 quarter inches by... It is 6 centimetres. I know 6 centimetres came into it somewhere, uh, which is just well just over two and a quarter inches so yeah they're all fairly a generic stand um and i do like the fact that they're black because it just makes them disappear that little bit when you put them on a stand but yeah if you're wanting to know sort of the size um and the footprint so you know how much uh, room you need to put them out then uh, yeah that's your size of your little stand and then the little gonks the little gnomes the little goblins uh, oh, where's my widest point? Probably about seven-ish inches, which is about just under 18 centimetres. So not too big, but big enough so that you can see it from a distance and think, oh, that's cute. And then we're about eight and a quarter inches, 21 centimetres. So, yeah, a nice little size, practically a square size. So about an eight inch by eight inch size. But, oh, that's just fabulous. I love that. And it's quite happy as well. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, let's have a look at these gems. I've just spotted some hearts and some flowers. Oh, 
yeah my next little scene that i'm going to be doing as i take down my christmas things will be valentine's i know that we're still in january and valentine's is away away but the way last year went so fast uh by the time i finish this unboxing it'll probably be february <laughs> no i'm only kidding <laughs> yeah everything just went past so fast last year right so let me have a look Ooh. How many have we got? We've got, oh, 12 in this one as well. Oh, little teeny tiny hearts. Right, stop looking at the good ones, Liz, at the end. Let's look at these first. So these are your standard crystals. So we've got a standard silver and a standard lovely clear red. And a little bit of like a grapey purpley colour. And a little bit of a pinky purple. And that one's like a bronzy browny colour. Hmm, wonder where that one's for. What number's that? Number five. Where does number five go? Oh, I see. It's the shading um, on the hair and the beard and everything. Okay. And then we've got a little bit of a yellowy gold and a little bit more of a sort of a honey gold and a nice fresh green and a bit of a deeper red. And then our specials. Look at these. We have some of those gorgeous little flowers, which are going to go on the flower bouquet. Very, very pretty some red hearts and then some teeny tiny little pink hearts look at those aren't they cute oh i don't think i've had those before either yay loving them so i think they'll go on the little box down here and possibly on our little hat yep they're number 12 so yep all on the little box so a hat matches a wrapping paper oh she must have bought him that he's bought her flowers and she's bought him something in a box wonder what she's bought him mm. okay let's put these away so huge huge thank you diamond art gift i love these what a great start to the new year something nice and happy and bright and cheerful and colorful and my little uh, stickers are deciding to go for a bit of a roll stay there don't be moving out the way so I've got our lovely little, look how happy that one is. I just love the fact that those candles are in that hat. That just makes me laugh so much. Can you imagine that you put a hat on and somebody starts sticking little candles in it? <laughs> then we've got our great little couple there. I think that's definitely me and Hobby. Yay! <laughs> Wait till I show him it'll say, what on earth is that? <laughs> And then we started off with our completions, which was the great little shuttlecock, which is so sparkly and wonderful little Snow White there as well. So do go and check out Diamond Art Gift. Uh, don't forget, if you buy four, you get one free and 70% uh, off that shipping. So that's marvellous. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to stay with us and join our little family and see what we get up to next, if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and then the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos pop up. It just tells you that Liz has uploaded a new video. Do you want to come and have a look at it? And hopefully you'll say, yes, I don't want to miss it. Okay. Well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.